Sherry Potts, please. And you did that by making an emotional connection. You made all of us <clears throat> totally interested in your topic and curious about what you had to say. And the first thing you did to do that was you brought in some really good statistics. You went, boom, this happens. People die at alarming rates. More alarming rates than homicide is suicide. And those sorts of statistics make us see your point about how hope seems lost sometimes and how we can worry about all these things. And immediately, we're drawn in. We want to know what it is that provides the hope. You used this great use of words. You had emphasis on certain words. And those words were the point you were trying to get to. And that really brought it together. It closed it all up. You had a nice pause. And I love the way you changed your voice to talk about the needy voice that is inside all of us that was kept us engaged. It's that sort of variety that keeps the listener engaged. The one thing I thought you might want to work on was there was you, you encouraged audience participation. And while in some settings that may be appropriate, I think in a persuasive speech, it would be more effective to just tell us what you want us to say just because it it creates an excessive pause. It makes it a little bit more difficult for the listeners to stay engaged. It breaks up your speech, breaks up your point. And there's always the chance that someone will say something that is contradictory to what you want in your speech. So when you're trying to persuade someone, I think it's best if you just provide your points and don't encourage audience participation. The other thing, I loved writing on the board. It really helped us remember the points you brought up. But while you were writing on the board, you had a long pause. And I was writing things, and I wasn't looking up at that moment. I was just listening. And I was a little bit confused as to why there was such a long pause until I glanced up. So while the board was very effective, I think it would help if you could reduce that pause as much as possible, try to keep your speech flowing forward in a cohesive manner. Your conclusion was excellent. The purpose is to move us towards action. And you gave us a simple step. You said, do one thing. Find one thing you can do. You gave us a simple progression, a logical progression, saying the important thing is first yourself, and then the earth. And then you start to make connections. And then there you are. You have hope. And that sort of progression, that logical conclusion, is exactly what makes a persuasive argument so effective. So thank you. It's an excellent speech. Thank you.